Second. Uh, I'll call the meeting to order. It is uh, 530. Uh, roll call, please. Um, Craig Borda. Present. Juanita Garner. Here. Al Jones is not here yet. Uh, Ed McBride. Present. David Norgard. Present. Four here. Um, the agenda was posted on or before May 31st. Okay. Can I have a uh, motion to approve the agenda? Accept the agenda? So moved. First, do I have Thank you. Uh, roll call, please. Craig Barba. Here. Here. Um, so uh, so um, we're approving the agenda. Craig Juanita? Right. Yes. Ed McBride? Yes. Uh, David Northern? Yes. Four to zero. Thank you. Great. Uh, Roman. We're now on to Roman numeral three, public comments. Uh, at this time, uh, Jeannie, can you introduce our new uh, board member that will be effective next month? Is that correct? Right. So um, I'd like to invite up um, Deborah Schwartz, uh, our newest member of the board. Here comes Al Jones. He's uh, she's going to be up. Uh, she is appointed to the board, but she hasn't done her swearing in. With, um, we're good. We're good. Um, uh, she's appointed by the city council. Uh, uh, we're picking up the sound from the council chambers. Oh, sorry. Uh, so long. I keep saying this. She's been appointed. She hasn't been sworn in. Hasn't done her uh, official um, training required by the clerk. So um, just here as a guest. Hi everyone, I'm Deb Schwartz. I did get my orientation yesterday, so I did get that out of the way. Um, I had moved to the Palm Springs area about three years ago. I am a degreed librarian. I got my MLS many years ago, too many years ago, uh, from the University of Toronto. And my career has been with media libraries, law libraries, corporate libraries, consulting firms, and some, some with public libraries. So I have a pretty good background. Uh, I owned a company that I sold a few years ago. Um, so I've had management experience, budget experience. So hopefully I'm well qualified and I will do the board proud. Thank you. Right. Oh, welcome, welcome. Uh, any other comments? Nobody else. Okay. Unless Bill has a comment, if, if Bill wants to make a public comment, just hit the raise hand. And just by You'll have I have know. joined. Can you hear me okay? Yes, you're good, Al. Okay, I had problems getting in. Okay. Okay. Thank you for being here, Al. Um, consent agenda. Uh, can I have a motion? No move. So move. I have a First and a second. Is there any discussion on the consent agenda? Okay, hearing none, roll call, please. Craig Borba? Yes. Yeah. Juanita Garner? Yes. Al Jones? Yes. Yes. Ed McBride? Yes. David Norgard? Yes. Five to zero. Thank you. Great. Um, Great. We'll move on to Roman numeral uh, five well, administrative reports. Uh, is Nancy going to be here? Nancy is not here. Uh, Julie, do you okay. want to give a report for the fans, or do you have any information? The, I don't know. Yeah. Um, sure. uh, the friends recently had a book sale for a Saturday, um, and with just a few hours, they made um, like it was about seven hundred dollars. I want to say. Um, so they were very pleased with that. Um, it was a bag book sale. They are trying to clear out their um, books and everything. Um, they are also uh, sponsoring summer reading which will be coming up um, and they're providing book books uh, for adults uh, so that they can get free books. And then the friends um, are working on their modernism events. They're actually going to have one in the fall this year, as well as one in the February uh, regular modernism week. So those are the things that I know that are happening. Uh, any information regarding the uh, presentation done uh, with Palm Springs Speaks? Um, that presentation to the friends is happening at their June the meeting, which is next week. Okay, thank you. Any other questions for friends at this time? Okay, and their next meeting is scheduled for Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday the thirteenth. Okay. Um, 
Palm Springs uh, Public Library Foundation. David? Good evening, everybody. Um, we are still recruiting members for our board. We are now up to 23 members, wow. which is one away from our goal of 24, which is very exciting. Um, I know wow. that we are working on yeah. Pride on the Page, our book festival that runs concurrently with um, Palm Springs Pride in November. We are also really excited about the MOU that you know we all know about. And um, we are going to begin our search for an executive director, our first aid employee. Okay. That's it. Any questions for David? Okay, hearing none, uh, library staff report. Thank you. Um, depending on the, um, the schedule, uh, the meeting schedule for the Library Board of Trustees, we have potentially three library closures that will be happening um, between now and the next time you meet. So uh, we will be closed Monday, June 19th for Juneteenth. We'll be closed on July 4th, and then we'll also be closed on September 4th for Labor Day. The main library will be closed those days. So the Wellwood Murray Memorial Library will be open. And then we're very excited about summer reading. Of course, as Julie mentioned, summer reading starts next week. It is open to all ages. So adults, uh, children and teens, and even preschoolers, are encur everybody's encouraged to participate. It really helps us um, get good statistics, um, get people to the library. That's one of our biggest goals. Um, and uh, we're gonna give away free books. Children and teens get free scholastic paperbacks that are grade level specific. And then adults like Julie said, get the book box that they can choose out of the Friends book sale area. We'll have weekly performers, crafts, activities, story times. And then uh, we, I didn't write this down, but we are going to be launching a diaper giveaway next week. So um, in conjunction with our story time, we really would like for the families to come to our preschool story time, which is on Thursdays at 1030. And we, we have diapers in four sizes, sizes two, three, four, and five, and uh, wipes to go with them. And those are courtesy of an organization in LA called Baby to Baby. And they have given us pallets of diapers. So we're very excited to be giving these away because diapers are very expensive and it's just a nice community resource. And that's what we're here for. We are a community resource. Anything else? Julie has some. Well, I just like to plug our first speaker for adults for summer reading um, is on Wednesday, the 14th at three o'clock. And that is Chef Tanya from Chef Tanya's Kitchen. So we're excited to be having her. And then the following week on the 21st, we'll have uh, Lisa Botts, who will be talking to us about mindfulness and meditation. And then we have some great films. We have a painting um, program with Pino's palette, and we have a trivia challenge. So lots of things for adults. I really want to encourage adults to come out and be good reading role models for kids during summer reading. Thank you. And I also forgot one thing. Um, thank you, Lisa. We are a cooling center for um, the community. So um, when it gets hot, um, we'll activate. Obviously the library is a place that you can come anytime, everybody's welcome. But um, a cooling center, we have bottled water available and just a cool place to go, save energy, save, you know, save on your electricity bill, your air conditioning bill, your cooling bill, and um, just have a cool place to hang out at the library. And it starts June 1st, it started June 1st and it goes through October, I think, okay. I think that's it, unless you have questions. Yeah, any questions yeah. for Jeannie at this time? Uh, David uh, Jeannie, uh, oh, go, David, go ahead. Thanks, Ray. Um, no question, actually. Uh, simply a compliment, a commendation. Um, when I looked at the notes for the programming for the summer, I was just astounded. Uh, I, I would have thought it would be a little lighter, actually. <laughs> uh, but you are all still going full force uh, through these summer months, and I just want to applaud you for all the uh, all the excellent opportunities for uh, both adults and younger folks to get involved and, and be engaged with the library one way or another. Uh, it was very impressive. So. <laughs> That's it. Thanks. I totally, I totally agree with that, David. Those comments. Yes. I forwarded the information I received from the library in the last mailer, and uh, people coming back to me, they go, "Is this is happening in Palm Springs?" I said, "Sure is." 
We don't shut down. Um, uh, Jeannie, uh, can you tell me a little bit about large print books? I've had a couple people come up to me in the last three weeks stating that they would like more large print books. Do we order them on a percentage of regular books or how do we handle that? We, uh, we actually are, we have them on a subscription that we, um, that we get and um, Lisa might be able to help me on this. We spend about $10,000 a year on large print books. Um, it's in percentage wise compared to the rest of the collection. It is a very small amount, but we also have a very small shelf space for them. Um, but we do get uh, new releases. I, I saw one just today. It was a Harlan Coben uh, that was a new print. So uh, we do get them. We have pop we have popular categories like mysteries, the top um, top bestsellers. Um, what are some of the titles? Um, cozies, um, biographies, westerns, um, some different categories. So we do have um, a small collection it's it doesn't add up to a lot of books honestly but um uh, the way that we are really transitioning now in these days is to ebooks and so we do spend a lot of money on ebooks in fact next year i think we're we may spend upwards of 50 or 60 thousand dollars on ebooks and those can be adapted on your tablet to um, be large print which i do i make a larger print it's so nice to be able to just prop your tablet up and make it larger print and just read away. So, um, so that's really how we're um, transitioning into um, a more adaptable large print environment. Great, thank you for that information. Any mm -hmm. other questions for Jeannie? Yeah, Juanita has a question. Juanita? Um, I was just about the, um, the diaper giveaway. How are you advertising that? How do people know to come here? Okay, well, we have, I, I, I spoiled it, but we are going to do a press release next week. Okay. Or did it go out yet? Um, I will, it'll either go out tomorrow or Monday. Yeah, so it's coming out. Um, we're gonna do a big press release. That's what we did last time and we ran out over a weekend. We, it was so fast. And I did, I, we have posters and flyers too. Yeah, so we will have. Yeah, that's wonderful. That's really great. Um, I just wanted to say that when my kids were growing up and the summer programs were a lifeline for me as a parent, something for them to do, somewhere for them to go and look forward to. So that is so appreciated by parents everywhere, I promise you. Oh, thank you. We've got some really great prizes this year. Oh, I'm so excited. We've got a, a Power Wheels for the little kids, and we've got a Nintendo Switch for um, grade school kids, and a Nintendo Switch for teens and adults. We've got Amazon gift card, um, Samsonite piece of luggage, projector. a project, outdoor projector, um, escape room, uh, Palm Springs vouchers. So there's just a lot, and our community's really stepped up on that and given us a lot of gift cards. Uh, Palm Springs Fine Men Salon. Uh, I'll bring them to you. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got a lot of different restaurants and um, and giveaways, and just it's a fun fun way to keep the community engaged. And, and we get a great turnout. Back pre pandemic, we'd have. Um, 40 programs in six weeks and 2,500 people would show up. So uh, a lot of people coming through the door, lots of great things going on at the library. It's busy, as busy as high season. So the snowbirds go home and the kids come in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Jeannie. Uh, any other Thanks. questions for Jeannie or staff? Okay, hearing none, we'll go to Roman numeral six, the treasurer's report. Al? Right. Yes. Oh, oh, can you hear me? All right. Perfect. Okay. Be sure I am. Okay. I, again, no, no major change from the last month. The, the only thing I had a question for Jeannie was the 68, 69 unrealized investments. Can you clarify what that? Was? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I was looking at that earlier. And I was, I, um, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent certain. It, uh, I will have to find out, but I can let okay. you know for sure what it All is. Right. Yeah, otherwise there's no major change um, from the last month, so. Okay, thank you. Can I have a motion to approve the uh, treasurer's report? So moved. Can I have a second, please? Second. Thank you. Um, any further discussion or questions for Al? Okay, uh, roll call, please. Craig Borba. 
Yes. Yeah. Juanita Garner. Yes. Al Jones. Yes. Yeah. And McBride. Yes. David Norgard. Yes. Five to zero. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. This moves us on to uh, Roman numeral seven. Uh, this is a tough one for me because uh, for the last four years I have been working with Ed and under his leadership and what a great job he has done as an advocate for our Palm Springs Public Library. Um, I'm, I'm just really sad to see you go after your seven years of dedication to this board. Other comments from members, trustees? I, I would add from my perspective as a member who joined two years ago that I used Ed as a mentor, um, especially every time I'd go into the fine men's salon to look good, but we would sit down and <laughs> chat for quite some time, either before or after the appointment. I bet Ed is a personal friend as well, but I did rely on Ed really to provide as a, a mentorship to me to understand more clearly uh, what and the importance of the public library to the community at large. Yeah. Uh, particularly in an age of, of, of computerization and the rest. Um, I really, Ed, am very appreciative of the time that you took to educate me. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that the trustees or when this happens, when we are finished building our new library, that uh, we remember Ed in some manner uh, with the new building. Because seven years of commitment is, is fabulous. I, I would second that, Dr. Gorba. I think, uh, you know, starting with the ad hoc committee that we were on together, um, it was amazing how uh, he brought the group together, it was, in, included everyone, everyone's comments were taken seriously. Um, everyone had, you know, an opportunity to express their reasons and for whatever it is that we we're discussing at the moment. And that's true leadership. So thank you, and I really appreciate it. Yes, David? I just like Thanks to it. Um, you welcome new members graciously, and you have helped us understand uh, all the intricate ins and outs of this board of trustees in uh, its relationship to the rest of city government. Uh, you have helped us appreciate the true importance of the library for the community and city of Palm Springs, and so much more. Um, what you've given really deserves uh, very significant recognition. And um, I certainly agree with our, our current chairman that uh, uh, we need to remember that at the time the renovations get underway, because without your leadership at the time uh, that you've offered us so generously, uh, we might still be uh, stuck in the ruts on that. So uh, my hat's off to you and I thank you. Thank you. And um, it's not a, a, the Ed McBride room, but it is a certificate <laughs> of appreciation for Ed that um, we'd like to present to you on behalf of um, us at the library and the library board of trustees. So um, thank you so much for your service. It's just yeah, like every everyone said the same thing. It's just wonderful that to have your insight and your expertise as a former librarian. You're never a former librarian. You're always <laughs> librarian. So to have that expertise, um, just uh, advocacy and help for us at the at the library. It just means a lot to have you out. You know, now we're going to have you out in the community saying, "Hey, you know, let's get this done." So. Thank you so much, Ed. We really appreciate it. And speaking of which, yes, I will be out there because um, I think you guys remember the last time I was in front of the city council, you know, I promised them that we were ready for this new facility. And I don't want that to ever leave anyone's collective thought on this board because it's been a hard fight. I remember I was thinking coming over here, the first meeting that I was attended and how um, Harry talked me into doing this job. And um, you know, I, I think that even then we had this dream and we kept hoping that someday we would have a new building of some kind, right? So it's been a long time coming and don't you guys let up on it at all. And if you need the public to come in, all you gotta do is just let me know and I'll be the first one to stand up there and remind city council and 
everyone is involved in it that you know it's 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 a dream that's here and it's a dream that we can't give up and it's very important to our community this 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 department serves a lot of people and it can serve even more people with a new facility so it's been fun i've enjoyed working with all of you and all the the people all the goes to those who aren't here <laughs> who have yeah. been here and the staff you've been amazing you know you've always been there to help us and I think that, you know, having been a staff member at a public library for half of my career in my life, that you you make it happen. You you and so without you, we wouldn't have all these wonderful programs and ideas. And it's not easy, you know, to come up with how do you how do you get these programs on the book and get people to come in and participate? But you guys are just amazing. And I hope you let that all the rest of the staff know that they're just really amazing all the time. So but thank you. Well, thank you, Ed. Thank you. Ed, do you have any plans to go on to another city committee or are we going to have you back in a year? <laughs> it's, it's funny that you ask that. Um, so, I mean, I think that um, some of you know that the, the last couple of months have been kind of hard months for my family and we, we've suffered some loss. Uh, we lost three people in four days in my family. Oh, and wow. um, I made the decision to kind of step away from, I was on three boards at one time. So I've decided to step away from all those boards and really any kind of activity just to kind of focus on um, our business and on family. And um, so that's going to be it for a while. Um, I don't think I'll go away forever, but you know, for a <laughs> while, that's what I have to do and take care of things like that. So all of you have been there, you understand. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking. All, right. all right. Really appreciate all your work, Ed. Thank you so much. Uh, any yeah. other comments? Uh, I don't think we have a motion on this item. I think our, our hopefully our comments will hold as well as. No, our, you're fine. We're good? Yeah, you're fine. Okay, then let's go to item B. And item B yeah. is the nomination committee for chair and vice chair. Uh, so I'd uh, like to. Of uh, Juanita and David be the nominating committee, and to uh, I, I think uh, you need, they fill all three positions. No, they um, you vote for chair and vice chair, and then you appoint the treasurer. Okay, great. Oh, great. There, did I miss? So you just, this, there's no action except for you just make right. the appointment. Right. Let, let me yeah. ask, I'm, I'm just curious with one, one question. So David and Juanita would be the nominating committee for chair and vice chair. Can they nominate themselves for chair or vice chair? Sure. All right, you're good. Yeah. Okay. okay, any further discussion? Okay, and Juanita and David, I'm assuming you're okay with this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm glad to serve with Juanita. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, item C, uh, discuss July meeting. Uh, I think we have a couple of conflicts for the July meeting. I, I know that David is going to be gone uh, for the scheduled meeting on the, what day is that, the 5th? Yes. Okay, and, and I'm also going to be going. I'll be out of the country at that time. So, um, Dad will be gone I'll be too. Also. Who no, else is it? Deb, Deborah Schwartz, our newest trustee, will also be uh, traveling on that day. Okay, so I'm wondering uh, whether we should cancel the meeting or reschedule it later in the month. David, your conflict, does it run for a period of time or is it just for that one day? Uh, I'm in and out all month. Uh, it would just depend upon what other alternate day we're talking about. Um, Do we have any pressing business that we would need to take care of in July or can we wait until the August? Well, we would have August. to wait till September. September. Uh, we're, usually, we're usually done in August. All right. Um, and I'm assuming the only one of the things that'll be coming up will be the update on what's happening with the library. Is mm -hmm. that true, Jeannie? Right. Um, the and we can discuss that on the next item or 
if you want, we could flip flop these items and then, uh, but or talk to the talk about them concurrently because the um, the what's happening next is that um, the city is negotiating with an architect and then that information once they make a decision that will go to city council for approval. But because of the way that our meetings are scheduled, you all will miss essentially miss the opportunity to to under, hear about that before it goes to council. So um, really there's there's no business for you to conduct because right now it's just negotiations and entering contract contract agreements. What's the expected no date that they will have identified an architect? Uh, say that again, I'm sorry. The, the sound in here is really bad. Well, I, I said, uh, do you have any sense of when they will actually uh, uh, settle on an architect and send a recommendation to city council? Yes, on one aspect of it. We have picked up an architect. Um, our, the committee has selected one um, and they're entering into uh, price negotiations. And then if, if they're successful, then it will go to city council. If it's not successful, then they'll go on to the second architect, the second choice and enter negotiations and work on that. So it could be either um, July 10th or the July 24th city council meeting, one of those two. So even if you rescheduled, you still might miss the opportunity to hear about the architects mm -hmm. or it might cause a delay and then it wouldn't even go to council until September either. So there's the dilemma. Well, I, I can, I'm sure we don't wanna cause a delay uh, either by meeting or not meeting. <laughs> uh, it doesn't make any sense, Jeannie or Craig, if we met, and is it even possible, do we have a quorum for Wednesday the 19th? Nope, I'll, I'll be in Europe. <laughs> I'll be cruising the Rhine River. Okay, I, I so will be. That answers that. I don't, I don't think there's really any business except for just the architect and Really, it's a formality, which and I, I could talk about now. Jeannie, if you can send that out to the trustees as a, a bit of information. As soon as we have the information that we're allowed to share, right now it's confidential. I mean, I know right. who we who our number one choice is, but I, I'm not allowed to say David Sidley knows, uh, Lisa Brock knows, uh, the committee, the five member committee know, they, we know okay. who it is, but. Um, the city's and well, confidential well, negotiations. Then why don't we make, once the decision is finalized, why don't you make it a, a information item to the trustees? I think that'd be great. I can send you send you the staff report um, that's presented mm -hmm. to city council or just let you know where we are when it becomes public. Okay, with that being said, uh, as long as the trustees are all in favor, uh, our next meeting would then be in September. Okay, that's fine. And that date would be? That would be September 6th. Okay. No, would it be? Yes, you're right. Yes. Okay. All right, uh, can I have uh, a motion uh, related to what we've just made our decisions? I'll make the motion. Okay. That our next meeting that we yeah. that our next meeting will occur on September the sixth. We will not meet in July or August. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Thank you. Um, roll call, please. Frank Borba. Yes. Yeah. Juanita Garner. Yes. Al Jones. Yes. Uh, Ed, Ed McBride, not Al. So quickly you forget. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez, that's so bad. <laughs> Would you check the right yeah. names on the certificate, please? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's, well, it could be George. Okay, so five to zero. Oh. Uh, so that, that, that we would cancel the July meeting. August, we're traditionally, all city commissions are traditionally dark in August, and then our next meeting would be September 6th at 5.30. That's correct. Uh, let's go to item D because that kind of uh, relates to this. Uh, 
Um, do you want to talk about that item, please? So the library renovation architect, recom our recommendation is that you authorize the um, committee to make the decision. So the, um, the city's procurement and contracting department um, put out a, a request for qualifications for architects to um, design a renovation for the library. And we received 14 qualified uh, packets, our request RFQs. We received 14 applications that we had to review and the five, the five member committee made up of, um, of myself, uh, Lisa Brock, our operations manager for the library, um, David Sidley, he's our community member, the, the chair of the, uh, the president of the Friends of, no, the <laughs> Library Foundation. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Ken Lyon from the planning department and um, Joel Montavo, the city's engineer. And, uh, I see David Sidley has his hand up, but um, yeah, so we um, we reviewed the applications, <clears throat> came up with our top five, conducted interviews of the top five, and then we, and, and at each stage, we gave them a score. So um, we reviewed the packets individually, confidentially, gave them a score, submitted our scores, met as a little committee, reviewed the scores, scheduled the interviews, interviewed five people, five organizations, gave them an additional score based on their interviews, and then um, procurement scored all the sheets, scored everything up, and we got our top candidate. And um, I, at this point, not allowed to say who it is, but um, I will tell you that we are in good hands no matter who is chosen. These architects are great. So we had, a, it, it was a tough, competition and we've got some good um, results. So um, can I turn it over to David Sidley, Craig? Yeah, please, David. Yeah. Sorry, uh, yeah, just quickly, uh, I, I wanted to ask, we know the timeline for the MOU when it's gonna wind its way through to city council. Oh, the MOU has been approved. Uh, it was approved at city council at the last meeting and then uh, we will need to work on that to get it signed. But it, it was approved um, through consent. So oh, good. Oh, that's no, very exciting. No questions, no problem. City Council just good. approved it. Very good. And, and um, so, oh, go ahead, David. Sorry, just to echo what you said. The the I, I forgot to mention that in my report that the that the the architects that submitted qualifications were incredibly impressive and we are going to have an amazing library. There's no question about it. Thank you. And so, um, what, what will happen, what typically would happen in this scenario is that we would bring the information to you as library board of trustees um, to review it and give your blessing and um, make a recommendation to council. So um, because of the way the timing works, if we do that, it's going to delay the project. So. We're just asking for you to generally trust the committee uh, made up of the experts that we are in our areas um, and just approve whatever our recommendation is that goes to council. Okay, that will need to be in a motion. I so move. Okay, do I have a second? I'll second. Okay, so what, basically what we're doing is we're authorizing the support of the decision of the uh, committee and everybody's right. in agreement on that? Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, roll call, please. Okay, so you're authorizing the support of the decision of the selection committee to select an architect that will be submitted to city council yes. for approval. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so Craig Borba. Yes. Anita Garner. Yes. Al Jones. Yes. Ed McBride. Yes. David Norgard. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Right. Okay. Um, who? I, just a side note on that on that item. Who's doing the negotiating with the architects? That would be the um, procurement and contracting manager. Okay. And I believe the the committee gets together and reviews the cost proposals. And then um, the city's procurement and contracting manager is the one who 
really is their point of contact for negotiations. Okay, great, thank you. And, and so David will still be involved as this process continues. One more time, correct? That's right. Right. Yeah, you're right. not on. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> David, I don't want you to be overlooked here, since you have a little bit of a job ahead of you. Okay. Uh, Roman numeral eight, uh, trustees or staff comments and future agenda items. I will say that the September meeting will be the annual meeting where you um, bring your recommendations for chair and uh, vice chair, and then you will vote on that. So you'll have your election at that time. Okay, right. The first, right. The first meeting of the, of the year. Okay. It's, it's, then, yeah. Uh, can that information be in the agenda, Jeannie? It will. It will definitely be listed as election of chair and vice chair. It'll be part of the agenda. Great. Okay. Uh, any other comments? No. Okay. Again, thank you all for participating. Um, we're going to get off a little bit earlier than normal, but maybe that's okay. So... Um, See everybody in September. Great. Hey, um, can I have um, Ed make the motion to adjourn? Since it's your last motion. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Is to make a motion? Yeah, make a motion. Motion please. that the meeting is adjourned at 6 6 6 7. 7. That, could, that could be a record. It could be a record. All right, everybody stay safe. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, sir.